going to see my college roommate next week in La Jolla and I want to make a shirt for us and I'm going to try to convert a picture to an SVG. So I'm going to unload, upload a picture. Um, oh, there it is. Yay. So, <laughs> it does look too good. Let me see here what we do. Oh, up here. That is better. Okay, we're going to download the SVG up here. Right, I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to open a new project and then I'm going to see if I can upload this image. Bar it is. Easy peasy. I type in the word friends in Zap. Fino type, and I move the letters together manually. I found out that in Cricut Design Space, there's a couple of different ways to move the letters together, but this was the first one I tried. Next, I type in the phrase, or the family we choose, and select the font Megan June. Then I highlight the phrase and ungroup it, then I group each word separately and move them together by using the shift key and an arrow. So last year, <laughs> before I knew better, I welded the phrase together and I welded the headline together and I sent it all to print. And of course it printed in three different images, which meant I had to apply them in three different images. This took a lot of centering and at least three or four different heat presses, which was a lot more complicated than it needed to be. What I should have done is once I had my three different elements finished, I should have just welded them all together, sent them to the printer. This would have given me one image, of course, to not only weed and cut, but to apply. So much smarter. What a difference a year makes, right? <laughs> Bye, thanks everyone. For more tutorials like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again, everyone.